you know, now on how, how bond markets are trading, Simon and Michelle over at Fig Securities joining us. Simon, uh, take us through what you made of the minutes. Have they managed to sort of flesh out some of that easing bias that was hinted at earlier this month? Good afternoon, Leanne. Yes, and I think, look, as we suspected, uh, the RBA held in July as they awaited further data, and uh, as you've been uh, talking about there, I think all eyes on the inflation data to be released uh, middle of next week. Uh, we expect that to be a little on the low side. We're certainly seeing that globally, and, uh, and uh, that's been the trend recently. Uh, so we would suspect that uh, we'll get an RBA rate cut in August, and if you have a look at the two-year, we're down about 1.58, so moving closer to the, where that level would be at 1.5%. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you about some of the moves that we're seeing in those yields at the moment. Ha has there been much of a, a shift since those, uh, those minutes? Yeah, there has. Um, in the Aussie yields, down about sort of three to five points. So the 10-year, for example, back significantly under that 2% at 1.94%. Uh, That's been down as low as 1.85, but, uh, you know, still... Uh, uh, very uh, you know, close to record lows there. Um, and uh, e even we're seeing uh, globally uh, bringing in uh, the, the global movements there a negative as well. We're seeing a little bit of a pullback in US yields as well. So definitely a bit of a, bit of a trend in uh, downward uh, movement on uh, yields around the globe at the moment. All right, fantastic. Simon, really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks, Leanne.